Good afternoon, everybody. Um, happy Tuesday. <laughs> uh, we just completed hosting our regular blueprint for ultimate book writing success. Met quite a few um, budding authors, about to start some conversations one on one with some of them. So I thought I'd come on my live and get that done close enough to midday today. Um, just had some lunch, and today I'm sharing a further six more strategies on utilizing your book uh, in your marketing and sales. Uh, yesterday, we were talking more about the pre-launch period of the book. And now you've got your book in hand. Now what? Right? And so I want to share six more strategies. As I said, over the uh, over these eight days, I'm sharing six a day. Um, so you can have like a toolbox of a ton of different strategies that you can utilize um, while promoting your book. So I already touched on this one a little bit yesterday. And that was, strategy. well, it comes, um, I, I said give your books away, <laughs> uh, give your books away. But um, this particular one is uh, strategy seven, which is more specific if you are going to give it away, what are some situations? And I call this one door prize power. And I mentioned it a little bit yesterday, so I'll expand a little bit more. But when you walk into an event, often or networking events, often they have door prizes, they have some giveaways and all that sort of stuff. And I used to use this to build a faster rapport with the person who was hosting the event, as well as be generous and, um, and have that opportunity to be a scene in front of the group that I'm perhaps um, only meeting for the very first time and therefore I would have more um, targeted conversations after I would um, be at that event or the door prize would be um, announced. And so um, this uh, gave me speaking gigs. Um, it gave me an opportunity to um, be connected with more people in the room because this would have been like a, a first time attenders of a particular event. And often throughout the time, various other people that I've networked with have, have asked me about, um, you know, giving my books as a door prize and I never mind. I never mind doing that because I know, uh, you know, this five or six dollar product that it's cost me to print is going to get me noticed a lot more. So I often will give away door prizes, um, you know, at various places that I end up um, uh, at. So I strongly recommend that you try this strategy is it's going to get you noticed, but also it might get you also some speaking gigs because they'll see you that you're an author. They might ask you to speak at the event in the upcoming months. All right. So strategy number eight, <laughs> I'm just looking at my, my phone's in front of my, um, a computer screen because Stuart's using my Zoom. So I need to go live on my phone on a tripod and my notes are behind, behind the phone screen. Anyway, the next one is strategy number eight and that is, um, make sure that you create a trade table. And the beauty of a trade table, um, well, when you're an author, you want to have all your little tools, like you want to have your pull-up banner, you want to have a branded tablecloth, and be able to set up that table, you know, in places where you go, because um, it's a great way to sell books from the back of the room, but um, also like look more professional and uh, really brand the room or the, your area where you're standing. So it's, you know, trade tables are about um, engagement, about getting people to leave their contact details. And once again, um, you know, having a prize that people can put their business cards into their contact details is another great way to keep building the um, email database with people that you're communicating with. So having a trade table and certainly I recommend the two key things for an author is to have a pull-up banner as well as a branded tablecloth. They look absolutely amazing and um, and really professional. All right, so that's uh, set up a trade table. Number nine, strategy number nine is bundle your book with your other offerings. So bundle it. So for example, as soon as someone becomes an author of ours, we send them a book, we send them a planner, we send them a little postcard to welcome them. So bundle it as part of your services and other products that you have um, rather than just like selling it as a single single product um, one at a time. So that's really key. And to go to the next level now from this one, strategy 10 is give, uh, VIP. I call it VIP because um, within uh, when we run our seminars, for example, people get, uh, get to register for them for free. But when they get a VIP upgrade, they get to have the book 
as one of the items that they will receive from the VIP upgrade. So that will work really well in the offline events where people would walk into the room and I would be ready pre-signed all the books and then I would give them that book um, as a, you know, welcome, you're one of our VIPs, you get front row seating and here's my book and signed in with their name and the date that, um, that they came to the event. Nowadays, because we're online, still our VIP upgrade. So what we normally do is when they register for free, I actually give them a free download of the Shut Up and Write Your First book. So that's something that everybody gets because I think this is really essential pre-reading ahead of our seminar. But then the VIPs get the Ultimate 48 Hour Author book. So they will get that additional book as part of their VIP. So, so again, I'm packaging and I'm bundling. And in the VIP, it's not just the book. But it is six or seven other inclusions that people get to uh, on top of the learning they're going to receive at the free seminar. So using it, you know, for your VIP upgrades as an incentive is a really great way, again, to sell more VIPs, to know who are your more committed people and to um, to build <coughs> to build your following as well as um, get more books out into the world for more people to read them. Strategy number 11 is get social proof. So now that the book is here with you, you want to ask at least, uh, those people who pre-purchased it at your pre-launch stage, you want to ask them to give you a review, either to um, to send it to you as a video, to send it to you as a written email or whatever it is. Or if they have purchased it on Amazon, the best place, of course, is to leave an Amazon review directly on your account. Now, not everyone can leave uh, reviews on Amazon Another good place is on Goodreads. Like you can ask people that there you can leave free reviews, but on Amazon you have to leave a review if you, uh, you can only re leave a review if you have purchased that book from the Amazon platform. It can't be you purchased it in place X and now you're coming to Amazon to leave a review. It has to have been purchased on Amazon to leave a review on Amazon. Otherwise, Goodreads is another great place. Of course, getting people to email you or send you video testimonials, that's also a great way. You want to build those up early because great reviews and great testimonials are going to encourage other future buyers to make the decision to buy your book over someone else's book. So work on those. Please don't expect that every single person is going to give you a review when you ask for it. Do follow up. Maybe give them a deadline by the time you want that review to be sent um, so that, you know, you keep things moving. Um, so I always say ask th triple, uh, triple the amount of people and expect that only one third of those people are going to get back to you with a, a review. Um, hey, Teresa. All right. So the strategy number 12 is your local library launch. A lot of local libraries do feature their local authors in the area. And for the Ninja Couch Marketing book that Don and I wrote, we actually uh, were hosted um, our local book launch in the Eltham Library here in Victoria. So, um, so watch out for that opportunity because you never know. You'll meet some of your local uh, community. And, um, and however, don't just leave the efforts to the library to invite people to the launch. Like make it a combined effort where you're inviting people and they're inviting. And it's a great alternative way if you don't want to spend a ton of money on hiring a venue, having food, having drinks and all that sort of stuff. Your local library might um, support you in launching you and there may not be any cost. I know with the, with the one that we did here, there was absolutely no cost. And actually they created a, a, a poster for us, which we could keep afterwards and all that sort of stuff. So always ask um, for what's available in your local area. All right, so those are some of the, um, you know, book in hand things to think about. I love bundling and packaging. Bundling and packaging is um, a great way to um, establish greater perceived value, but also to be able to move a lot more of your books um, through the other things that you're doing and have them as the support tool to how you help people. Um, all right, so tomorrow I'll come back and I will share another six more strategies on book marketing and sales to get you moving and shut up and selling your, your first book. So 
hopefully um, you've um, you've been finding these live streams uh, interesting and valuable. There's a lot more deeper information. There's another one of these books, Shut Up and Sell Your First Book, It's Green. It's on our website. If you go to writerbook.com.au and go to the shop tab, you'll be able to see, um, see it there. It's a green cover, very similar to the other two covers. They all match up, they all match up as part of the trilogy. And that's where I kind of got into more depth and detail on how to do some of these strategies that I'm sharing. All right, my gorgeous people, have an awesome day and I'll see you tomorrow at midday. Bye.